Right now, our governor is Greg Abbott, um, and right now his deal is that he wants to call a constitutional convention to reshape our founding document in uh, the mold of what Texans want. So what does that look like? Um, I guess repealing the Bill of Rights and replacing it with a bacon manifesto. Um, <laughs> And so that's him. We also had George W. Bush, who uh, you might be aware was so incompetent, he couldn't hold down the title of worst president ever for more than a decade. <laughs> <laughs> that pandering worked. Um, so there's uh, Greg Abbott, there's George W. Bush, and uh, oh God, help me out, help me out. And the, uh, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see, okay, let's see. Uh, 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 I can't, I can't do it. No, no. Uh, so that's where I'm coming from. Uh, and then, uh, moving to New York was a big relief because as you know, this state is known for its beloved, competent governors. Um, so, on that note, um, I feel like Andrew Cuomo is threatening to run for president in 2020. Uh, man. Uh, I, that's what we need, right? We need this country to be run more like the MTA. We're just gonna start, we're gonna start hearing garbled announcements everywhere we go. Uh, due to unexpected government shutdown, the entire state of Nebraska is running with delays. Uh, you're gonna end up going to, you're gonna try to get to Delaware, but then realize it's like super crowded and packed and sweaty, so you try to hop over to Connecticut, and it's like marginally better and twice as slow. Um, stand clear of the closing border, please. You had to do it, had to do it. Uh, so yeah, the Andrew Cuomo, candidate extraordinaire. He combines the left-wing principles and Spanish ability of Tim Kaine <laughs> with all the charm and charisma of a manager at your regional Buca de Pepo. Oh man, I am truly afraid of what will happen if he gets the Democratic nomination in 2020. I will admit, I am quo-phobic, all right? I love so many of the things that New York State has accomplished over the last few years, in spite of him, might even seem a little quo-erotic, but it's not, okay? So when I want to uh, make it clear that uh, I like something that New York, the state, has done, but uh, I don't want Andrew Cuomo to run for president, uh, I follow up my statements with, no Cuomo. Uh, it's like, yo, like, it's so dope that, like, uh, uh, we got minimum $15 minimum wage in New York now. Uh, no Cuomo. Uh, and, like, listen, like, free college, like, we're so close to it now, no Cuomo. Um, and, you know, I think we have to observe that, like, New York really set an example in 2011 when it legalized gay marriage, paving the way for the Supreme Court to legalize it a few years later. Yes, homo, pero, no Cuomo. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I can't deal with it. You know, I, I, thinking about Andrew Cuomo, I was like, in a place, I was one of those people that was like, no more celebrity candidates, right? I just really believed that. And then when I learned that Cynthia Nixon is the only way that we are going to uh, uh, not have Andrew Cuomo anymore, I was like, I threw that in last minute. Was it worth it? I don't know. Thank you. I was like, everybody's going to be thinking about Cynthia Nixon because she's like amazing and you know, whatever. And I know my crowd. So I, I was like, let me just pretend that when I heard she was announcing, I took out a piece of paper with her picture on it and danced and sang the Sex and the City theme song. So that's happened. Uh, anyway, speaking of this general region of the country, uh, has anybody checked on Chris Christie lately? <laughs> Um, I'm worried about him, and I hate him! I can't even imagine how his few remaining loved ones must feel at this point. I mean, seriously, he, his whole downfall was precipitated by Bridgegate, and now I'm worried that, like, he was just scoping out a nice elevated spot to jump from after he was done terrorizing his constituents in parking lots! After he was done terrorizing his constituents in parking lots! Have you seen that? He does that! Every once in a while, there'll be a headline, something to the effect of, like, Christie confronts 82-year-old woman in parking lot of a shop right over red light camera policy. He just can't leave well enough alone. His life is like Curb Your Enthusiasm, only he doesn't have Larry David's good looks or social tact. <laughs> Ugh. I just, but I can't help but feel bad for him because the 2016 election was so rough. He went from running for president to like being a maybe choice for vice president to being the front runner to attorney general to running the Trump transition team. And now he's like, he's in charge of uh, uh, fighting the opioid epidemic in the Trump administration. Now, uh, when I think of people who show restraint in the face of things that are bad for you, 
Do I think of Chris Christie? No. No. Thank you. I don't want to know the answer. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, Chris Christie. I just really have a hard time believing that he's not going to get his revenge at some point, right? Because, I mean, he looks like a mob boss hiding inside another mob boss, okay? I'm just going to lay it out there. That's what's happening. It, he does terrible things to people, so it's not problematic. Uh, but yeah, uh, he's, you're telling me he's not going to get revenge at some point. I think him and Newt Gingrich and Rudy Giuliani should band together and form like a Trump suicide squad. Like, they, the people who know him best are the ones that are going to bring him down. They're like his little freaky booger henchmen that Trump like, kicked out off the throne after he got up there, and they got to fight back. By the way, Jared Leto would be involved in that suicide squad somehow, and he would give a transformative yet problematic performance. Uh, not like those Chris Christie jokes. Uh, but yeah, uh, by the way, uh, yeah, so Rudy Giuliani, now uh, one of Trump's lawyers for the Russia investigation, I think that's like when you have to invite the creepy kid to your sleepover because your moms ran into each other at Kmart. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for inviting me to end Robert Mueller's witch hunt. <laughs>